Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. I'm seriously worried about Angus McNeil's state of mind. I believe he has finally flipped. He's lost all touch with reality, and he now seems to invade and live in some kind of alternative reality where the SNP seem not to care very much about independence. That's the only conclusion you can come to when you read about what he's just said. The man's bonkers. Anyway, we'll have a look at this article because he is just now quitting the Commons Group, not the party. He's not, he is quitting, but he's not quitting the party. He's quitting the Commons Group. Are you ready? Until they focus on independence. Are you joking? Are you having a laugh? If there's one thing the SNP are really, really good at, it is concentrating on independence at the cost of everything else. They are obsessed with it. How can he possibly say this? The man's a lunatic. Anyway, we'll take a quick look at this article and see why I think he needs psychiatric help. Here goes. So Angus McNeil is in scathing attack on the SNP as he quits the Commons Group until they focus on independence. What have they been focusing on since then? What else do they focus on? Uh, the Western Isles MP has announced he will not be rejoining the SNP Westminster Group, it's a great release to them I think, until October at the earliest as he does not believe they are showing enough urgency to break up the UK. He seems to be showing enough urgency to break up the SNP. So we shouldn't, maybe he's not all bad, who knows. But I suppose if he's not in that Westminster group, he can spend more time with those 16 and 17 year old girls he liked to kiss as his wife was lying there giving birth. Who knows? He is an horrible fellow, isn't he? Anyway, controversial SNP MP and Dick Angus McNeil has sensationally quit the party's Westminster group and launched a scathing attack on it. He was already suspended for a week uh, for a huge public bust up with the cheap wife when uh, Brendan O'Hara last week. Yes, I know it's chief whip. But chief, uh, but cheap wife works just as well. He's another horrible one, Brendan O'Hara. What a knob. Uh, anyway, and a bit of a bully too. Um, but now he has confirmed that he will now sit as an independent F MP at Westminster until October at the earliest, because he believes that the SNP are not focusing on independence. He has self-styled himself as the Skexit MP and will remain detached until after the party's October conference. I bet his wife wishes that was the case. Uh, it is a further crushing blow to the nationalists who have been torn apart by an exodus of politicians. Seven it stands, seven, seven it stands at at the moment. Um, you've got uh, Burger Boy, Fat Boy, he's got, he was the first, and of course Mary Black was the latest. Um, anyway, Western Isles MP McNeil even hinted he would stand as an independent MP in his constituency if he deems the SNP are not showing urgency in breaking up the UK. Well, they can't break up the UK. They don't have the mandate. Even if there was a referendum, they couldn't do it. They're not going to be given a referendum. Nobody wants to do it, because even the Scots know it's a stupid idea. But lunatics like him go, I want to Scotland to be independent, stamps tiny feet, runs away. Scotland doesn't want you. You'll be out at the next election, mate. Um, anyway, uh, he said, while the SNP has many good people, has it? Nope, can't think of any. Uh, and the rest, and the best of the three leaders at PMQs is Stephen Flynn MP. Mm, only because Rishi Sunak is never there. Let's be honest. Uh, and I watched Mary Black. Oh God, she's awful, isn't she? Did you see Mary Black? She had her she had her ass t uh, handed to today. Oliver Dowden. She started having a go about monies and things to Oliver Dowden. Um, might do a, I might do one on that actually. Now I'm thinking about I might do, I'll see, see if I can find something. Uh, but basically Mary Black had a go at him and he just came back and had a go at her and sort of said, blah, 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 blah. You're the one with the billion pound black hole in your budget, love. So sort of kind of handed her her arse and it was great. But she's not very bright, Mary Black, you know. She brought in, oh, she was the youngest. Doesn't mean she was the cleverest. Oh, not by a long mark. Uh, but anyway, he said, to be clear, this is about the conduct of the chief whip, which you know I disagree with. But that is of lit... Sorry, this is not about... My apologies. This is not about the conduct of the chief whip, uh, which you know I disagree with. But that is of little consequence, as indeed is the SNP. Uh, but it has triggered time formally away from the group, which has allowed me to concentrate on what really matters, the pursuit of young girls. I mean, of Scottish independence. 
I will only seek the SNP whip again if it is clear that the SNP are pursuing independence. What do you think they've been doing for the last hundred years? What do you think they've been doing for the last ten years under Sturgeon? Uh, at the moment, the SNP has become a brand name missing the key ingredient. Yes, intelligence, foresight, knowledge, talent, skill, the ability to do a job, money, support, all sorts of things it's missing. Uh, the urgency, though, he says, for independence is absent. Of course it is. Because even the SNP now, they don't really want it. McNeil said he would certainly contest the next general election uh, and lose, adding that he hoped he would do so as, as an SNP candidate, but would stand on Skeksis' first platform if there was not clarity on independence after the October conference. Good luck, mate. Good luck. <laughs> that ain't happening, is it? This is the SNP. They don't do clarity. They don't do anything. Uh, in the letter, he also blasted Nicola Sturgeon's attempts to break up the UK through going through the Supreme Court. Uh, the Scottish Government suffered a crushing defeat against the UK Government and they were told they were not allowed to have an independent referendum without the permission of Westminster. It led to her launching her de facto referendum strategy, which she then pulled back because she realised how stupid it was. Although, Hamza Yousaf is bringing the plan back because he doesn't realise how stupid the plan is. Uh, Mr McNeil has proposed dissolving Holyrood early and using that as an independence referendum, seeking re negotiations to break up the UK if the SNP win a majority of seats, but this got a lukewarm reception from other nationalist figures. He wrote his resignation letter, the Scottish Government went to the Supreme Court a year ago, utterly clueless about how to pursue independence. Do you know the funny thing is, it's been a year and they're still utterly clueless about everything. Um, anyway, uh, the SNP still have no clear understanding that it has to use elections to negotiate Scottish independence from Westminster by getting the backing of the majority of the electorate. The SNP members must have a say at conference on the policy direction, which it hasn't until now. Oh, they don't want the members to have a say. If the members had a say, Hamza Yousaf wouldn't have been leader. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's him out of the uh, out of the group. Won't be a great loss to them. It's probably the one ma the one face that's disappeared from the group. But Stephen Flynn is going. Phew! Thank God he's gone. You know, he's the one that you want rid. Nasty, pernicious piece of shit that he is. Uh, anyway, I shot. You know, he ran a motorcyclist over and then claimed he didn't, and then it proved he did, and he had to go whatever the punishment was. He lies. He's SNP. He lies. No shock there. Uh, anyway, I shall finish there, come up and round off this video and leave him to his young girls and crashed motorbikes. It does not least mean that they've lost another SNP MP because obviously they got rid of him. They got rid of Margaret um, Ferrier. She's gone. Um, we'll find out in another few days. We're already today, 12th, so another 19 days. Uh, she's got to enjoy her last few, well, last two weeks really. She's coming back Monday, you know. Whether she turns up or not, probably will though. She need to sign the register to to relaunch herself in, get those last two weeks of money, and of course get the old top up on the pension. So she'll be there. So they've lost her. Uh, now they're going to lose him. They're running out of uh, MPs. The ones that they have still got, half of them are leaving. You know, they're going to be a very small group next uh, next um, election, aren't they? Um, even if the new ones do manage to, you know, get picked and get run for office, half of them aren't going to get their seats. Um, it's going to be a very small um, and inexperienced group. Uh, so they'll offer no real opposition anyway. Not that they do. Uh, but it would just be a very big shock to the system of the SNP after the next uh, general election. Probably autumn next year. It's going to be massively massive changes. And there's no guarantee even uh, Beryl can keep his seat. So... Who knows? Anyway, I shall finish here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we can ignore Angus McNeil. He can go off and do whatever he does. Probably very unsavoury. Uh, and we will move on and do another video later this afternoon. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and remember, they're all like this. They're all awful people. Bye.